friends, Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. I wanted to make a video today about how to find Pinterest keywords that are high volume keywords. And it's so interesting. Before we never had any information about this, but now using a combination of the Interest Explorer in pin clicks and then Pinterest itself is giving us this data, we can find out which keywords are high volume. And so we're gonna start in the Interest Explorer of pin clicks. This is a paid product, and I will have a affiliate link below in case you're interested. But let's go with something dog food, right? Like, so if we're gonna do information about dog food, the nice thing is that Pinterest or Pinclix has pulled lots of this information in, right? I don't think we can sort it by the amount, but, and we can still go in and always look. So we're going to start with the highest one I can find, DIY Dog Food Recipe. It gets 6,000 volume. And then we're going to take a peek. That we don't know what the volume is. It could be 6,000 searches per month. It could be 6,000 searches per week. It could be, Pinterest hasn't told us yet what it is, but if you use that volume number in comparison to other things volume numbers, you're gonna be able to find out which has a higher chance of being able to rank for it. All right, so now let's look. Gravy for dogs. I thought that would be a good one. It is not. Um, let's go here. So we're going to just open all these up. I'm right clicking. Okay. So if we go with the premise that our blog post title is going to be DI dog food recipe, this isn't bad. I would make that a different post, right? I would make that a different post in a con content cluster about making dog food because DIY dog food recipe and making dog food homemade are two different things. Oh my gosh. Crock pot dog food recipes vet approved. This is a great keyword, but I'm not a vet. So I'm not going to do that one. Uh, cheap homemade dog food. Let's see. Making dog food homemade. I would put, I would put that together with this. Cheap homemade dog food and making dog food homemade. And I would name it making cheap homemade dog food. And we would have the uh, possibility of getting about 6,000 volume. So those would be good together. Homemade dog vet approved. That seems to be a really good thing, but we don't have that. Long lasting dog treats homemade. Now think about it. We started over here just trying to find dog food recipes, but now we've found a wonderful keyword, long lasting dog treats homemade, that we could add to our content cluster. So now we would have three things in our content cluster. That's good. A little low, right? <laughs> now that we're getting all judgy. Natural dog food recipes, little low. Raw dog food recipes. Okay, now there's another blog post you could write for this content cluster. Homemade dog food recipes. That's kind of this one, right? But with home and made separate, right? So I would maybe put homemade separately in the description and have homemade in the title because homemade appears to oh that has one three five five and three five seven four and this has lower so to me it feels like homemade all one word is a really good keyword to use for this search that we're doing but i don't think that there would be any problem putting home space made in the description to pull that one. Healthy dog treats homemade. Oh, that's good. Where's our dog treat one? So there's two angles. We're gonna do a whole video about finding different angles, but look at this. Healthy dog treats homemade, and then long lasting dog treats homemade. So you could do a 
similar shoulder cluster about dog food and dog treats homemade. Now let's go to the start of pin clicks. Nope, that's Pinterest. And let's look up a different word. So I was always looking up adult crafts, right? Because if you go through, oh, that's top pins. We need to be an interest explorer for this game. So now let's go to adult crafts. And it has 32,000 views per month. And, or 32,000 views, I'm sorry, it's a, uh, it's a Google thing. But I might do Easter adult crafts or arts and crafts projects or whatever. And before, Pinterest did not give us this, like I would totally have thought January adult crafts would be a great one for a seasonal keyword. And now when you see it has 144, that's just not worth my time to do. And Valentine's Adult Crafts is showing that it doesn't have any. But it could be because they it's a seasonal one. But what I want to do is I want to go into Adult Crafts. So we're going to right-click, open in a new tab. 32,000. What happens if I just click on this one and open this? I want to get to the interest. Okay. So Adult Crafts has 32,000. So you're stuck in that silo of thinking, oh, adult crafts is a really great keyword to use, but let's see if there's anything else like homemade crafts, 7,000. So that's another good one, DIY crafts ideas, 11,000. I seen one that I thought simple crafts. Okay, this is a huge one, although it's in kids. Right, so for me, I do adult crafts, so this wouldn't be a great one, but it's definitely something to think about. And how, you, oh look, here's related searches. So this, this Simple Crafts has a lot more information than DIY craft ideas, which means that Pinterest, is giving more information about this. So Pinterest thinks simple crafts in kids' crafts is a very important keyword. Now, I wouldn't necessarily go for simple crafts, even though it's a great high volume keyword, because I do crafting for adults and even if I were to rank for that because so many of Pinterest users would be directed here through kids crafts I don't feel like that would be a keyword like if I attain that keyword I probably wouldn't keep it for very long and if I did keep it for very long when people would click through to my adult craft things knowing that they wanted to kind of be in the kids craft area, it wouldn't be a good fit. So that's why I knocked out the veterinarian ones for the dogs. I would knock out this one because at the end of the day, when you look up here, it's explore DIY crafts, DIY projects, and then kids crafts, right? That's not a good fit. Now I might go back up here but now we've lost the crafts, right? This is more, there's, there's me, sell on craft sites, DIY projects. And so you can try to figure out which rabbit holes to go down that match the content that you make and that also fit that Venn diagram of things that you like to make and create that also have a good search volume on Pinterest. So if you do rank for that keyword, you have a higher chance of getting traffic to your blog or website from it than you do if you're trying to get to a lower volume keyword. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.